welcome back to another video guys i hope you all are doing fine today in this video i'm going to show you how to transform this picture from this to this just by only following few steps you can change the color of your photo and give it a better look and give it an awesome look and make your pictures alive uh, that's what everybody needs and i think that everybody deserves and everybody deserves to know how to edit their pictures themselves and you can send me your photos to the email that i have put in the description and i will feature your videos in the next upcoming videos and i will make a tutorial editing them so just send it in my email and we will edit it together make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started And before we move on, if you haven't subscribed and checked my channel, so just go to my channel, Hazard Tech, make sure to watch the videos and subscribe. So without any further ado, let's get into our video. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is open your picture in Photoshop, the picture that you want to do the adjustments. You want to make it look better. You want to change the color. You want to do some adjustments some color corrections okay i'm going to show you very simple steps just by using camera raw filter and you can transform your picture and you can just change the tone of your picture your photos that you've taken and give it more attractive look so guys let's get started and uh, okay, let's go to our filter here and then camera raw filter you can also press the shift uh, shift plus control plus a which is the shortcut obviously so here we go since this picture is a raw picture it means that it is unedited it's not a jpeg so the difference between a jpeg and raw picture is that you can find if you want to know the re the difference in detail uh, so just comment down below and I will make a separate video on that but uh, in one sentence, the JPEG is like, uh, it has been a bit edited by the camera itself. But the raw pictures, they are just raw. They are unedited and you can uh, bring any sort of changes inside that that you want. Any kind of changes. And it is also very easy to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing here, this picture looks very like dull. We need to increase the exposure so so it should give us a bright look. And then we will adjust a bit of contrast here. Yes. And let's and I will bring down the highlight because we want to have also like exposure this in this image and we also want to have contrast but we don't want the background to be so much exposed I mean or we don't want the background uh, to be turned into the white complete the, completely into white color because we don't we don't want to lose our sky as it is a cloudy day we have a little bit blue color here in these portions and we have clouds but I want that the clouds should be visible so and I'll and I'll drag the white down because when I'm dragging it down I will have more blue d uh, colors here a little bit black here and, and I will do the texture a bit the clarity the haze Thing here and then the vibrance we can play with and then the saturation according to you so um let's try this temperature here how does it look so i would go above minus nine here because it's a cloudy day so i would like to have it like a a bit uh, a bit cold look not so much and then the, the tint, I would love it to be plus 6. 
Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to, is to play with the saturation here. So let's just adjust some more color here. Okay, I want to have the skin color here. And that should be like, that should look natural. So that's okay there, I think. And uh, the green color, like we have trees in the background. So I don't want it to look uh, more vibrant but just to have a little bit green color I think so and then the aquos color the blue color I would increase it a bit because I'm gonna have detail in the background but 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 as you see if we do that we're gonna have the kind of uh, borderline over the trees here in the background so I'm gonna decrease it a bit and this is okay and this blue we can also and this much is fine and let's go to the luminance and here we we, we can also again play with this color and we can I would like to bring the bring the greens a bit to the minus side and I like to bring the, the yellow color to the plus side and I want to have the orange also to plus side just see when we drag it to the uh, positive side so we will have a bit of, you know, uh, exposure, a bit of highlight on her body, on the face, which gives us like a, a good look and it makes the photo to be alive. And next we're going to play with the red color. And this one is okay, I think. And I don't think so, these colors are needed. So, let's go to the hue again and let's see what we can do here. So, um, I would not prefer to do that, but this much is fine. And and okay okay we have like blue color but i would prefer like like blue color i will go to the minus side minus six and then the this one also a little bit and then the magnet color i will have here so and let's go to the split toning here and here in this portion uh let's just play with these all colors and let's see which one we will like so 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 just just let's check these all colors here this one looks fine but it's like a bit, it's like more cold if i bring it like here between between the green and yellow we also have our like coldness here and also we have like warm look and balance down let's go for the shadow what we're gonna have for the shadow and I think I should not touch the shadow because it's not needed so let's go to the calibration here we have bunch of other settings we have uh, different colors here I would go here okay I don't need that much situation uh, just have a look when I drag the blue primary color 
the hue to the left side like minus 55 we're having like uh, orange and teal look which is awesome i love this color but we will use it but not that much so this much is i guess and i guess this much is fine for me i'm pretty happy because beyond this it will be like more unnatural so every so we don't want to lose the natural look that this picture has inside so let's check before and after view so as you can see there's a bunch of difference in the color correction you can also try this and the best thing here is that our our picture is uh, a raw image and which gives which gives us the full control uh, over the colors and adjustments I'm happy with the result and we will hit OK and here what I'm gonna do is to again control Z and then I would like to press control J to copy the layer because I'm gonna need the original one and I'm gonna press alt plus control or F or you can click here and when we do that so we have our both layers so I think I, I need a little bit of more adjustments on this picture maybe we're gonna need kind of effect so control J and we will go again to filter camera filter and this time I'm gonna use spot removal here I want to remove the wrinkles and spots from her face if you want me to make another separate video on how to remove spots from your face so just let me know in the comment section and I will make a separate video on that in full detail and I will show you a different method a professional one and also I will show you uh, some plugins uh, with the help of them it will be a bit easier to retouch your photos so uh, this is fine here I will again go with the OK so I'm I'm happy with the result that I've got and if you want me to make more Photoshop tutorials like this so just write me in the comment section below and just send me your photos in the email that I've put in the description and then in my upcoming videos I'm gonna edit your photos and and we will edit it together and I'll send it back to you so thank you guys for watching and keep supporting see you in the next video